You know, you, uh, you often hear guys talk about, especially me, it. What's it? How can, you know, what what is that special factor about somebody's personality that makes them unique? And it's that it factor. Well, Bray had it. Bray had it. He had everything that goes with it and made himself unique from the day he was born. Um, literally just a, 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 an effervescent personality that captivated not only, you know, the audiences that he performed to, but also everybody that he touched backstage, anyone that had the opportunity and the, the pleasure to get to know him, they were captivated by that personality, by that smile, by that ability to draw you in and tell you a story and make you want to hear more make you want to know what is next. And Bray had the special art of, you know, giving you just enough so that you wanted more. But he never gave you what was next until the next time and then left you wanting more after that. And uh, just a, a great spirit, a great guy, and, you know, taken from us way too soon. But, man, it, it was the, I think it was the free creative spirit that he embodied and took everything that he did from Husky Harris to Bray Wyatt, to The Fiend, to uh, just life in general. And, and you know, I was a little Aerosmith before, but, you know, life's a journey, not a destination. And the light at the end of the tunnel may be you. That was Bray Wyatt. You know, he was color red in the world of black and white, as he used to say. And... It was it was just that uniqueness that set him apart from everybody else. You knew he was different, and you knew that he was special. A lot of times, didn't even have to say anything, but you felt it. And anything that someone can do as a performer to make the audience feel um, is magic. And Bray was able to create magic every time he went out. 